My name is Nika and I'm a third year biomedical engineering student here at Imperial. Today I'm going to be documenting everything I do and showing you guys what these new circumstances mean for me. So welcome to my vlog! Today my academic timetable consists both of online classes and online labs. I will be staying home for the online classes and going to the library for the labs. This is mainly because my laptop doesn't support all the softwares that I will be needing for the labs. So I'll be going on campus to use some of the library computers and also the printers because I need to print some things. I usually try and stay home as much as I can and only going to campus when I really need to. Right now I've got two hours of lectures, I've got everything I need, I've got my laptop connected to the internet, my notes and of course my coffee. So I'll see you guys in two hours. Because I've been spending long hours at home recently, I've been trying my best to switch things around a bit. I've been sitting in different places at home, I've been by the window, in my bedroom, in the corridor and now I'm in the living room. So my flatmate just made bread today and she's thinking of submitting it to the Union Bake Off. The Union? Yeah. <laughs> the union bake -off. I've done my two hours of lectures, now I've got a five minute break and after that I've got an hour of committee meetings. I just made myself a smoothie and my break is over so I'm going on to my committee meeting now. <laughs> Hi guys! I've just finished and now I'm going on campus. I live about a 15 minute walk from campus so I always choose to walk. I recommend that anyone going on campus has a look at the Imperial Code of Conduct. You'll see some useful information about what to do if you show symptoms or how to act when you're on campus. You have to wear a mask anywhere on campus, but I also choose to wear a mask on the way to campus. Okay, so now I'm on campus. It's important to know that as soon as you go anywhere on campus, you scan the QR codes that have been stuck around. Hi, hello. It's also important to notice that there's two sets of QR codes that you will need to scan. One is for the NHS and one is for Imperial, so make sure you scan both wherever you go. I'm just done with my work at the library. It's not actually that late, it just gets really dark really quickly. Now I'm heading home, it's the end of the day for me, so thank you for joining me on my daily vlog. <laughs>